Hello there everybody, my name's Luke and welcome to my channel. Tonight we're going to be shooting NGC4725 and R159. They're both uh, two beautiful but very faint galaxies that will appear in the same shot hopefully. Um, it's my actual first time shooting this target uh, and in truth I tested it out last night and uh, I got a couple of hours of data as a head start so that hopefully I'll be able to show you guys something nice because tonight is actually set to be clear right through till dawn. The only problem is it's absolutely freezing. Um, now I know some of you probably come from much colder climates than me, but I, I guess when it's minus six wind chill, it feels plenty cold in non-appropriate clothing. Um, but anyway, I'm still hopeful that I'll be able to get something good done tonight and uh, I'd like to take you along for the journey. You know, there are many reasons we like to look up as astrophotographers and astronomers. Maybe it's just to see the setting sun in anticipation of the night that's to come. Perhaps we'd like to see the Milky Way hanging overhead. Another valid reason is to try and dodge poo. Oh dear. Well, we've reached full darkness now and uh, data capture's underway. The night tonight actually looks fantastic. Uh, it's, it's really clear and I think the atmosphere is quite stable because the temperature's been low all day. There hasn't been quite a, a large temperature swing from daytime to nighttime, um, which usually leads to quite a settled atmosphere, which is uh, obviously good for what we're doing, um, trying to image a distant galaxy. But yeah, I've, uh, I've got a time lapse running just next to me. Um, Hopefully that'll show if there's any clouds and things passing through, but I can't see anything at all really that give me any uh, any cause for worry. And uh, as it happens, I'm feeling pretty good about tonight. I think it's going to be a good one. Uh, I'm going to need every last minute I can get though on this target. It's uh, it's not something I've shot before, but the test exposures um, are really highlighting just how faint this one is. Um, I can basically see the galactic core and that's about it. None of the extensions are really readily visible in single exposures, but um, I'm not hugely, hugely put off, um, certainly we'll see anyway. I don't know if that'll be visible for you guys at home, uh, but that's the first exposure of the night viewed at one to one zoom, if I just pop out. Um, yeah, there's not really much showing, but I'm still feeling quite hopeful. Uh, but I think I'm going to have to go inside now and warm up a little bit. It's freezing out here. <laughs> So it's about 20 past 12 now uh, and everything's going fantastically well. Uh, I always love it when it's like this, I mean who wouldn't? Um, there hasn't been a cloud in the sky uh, and actually it's cold but it doesn't feel as bad as it did earlier because uh, all the wind that was present has kind of just gone. It's totally flat calm now, uh, which again, who wouldn't welcome that when you're astro imaging? Um, bad for kite flying, great for telescopes. But yeah, uh, all these sub exposures coming in fantastic. I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm actually shooting again with 10 minute exposures tonight, like I tried on the M106 experiment. Um, I don't think it was a fair chance, uh, just seven exposures to call that either way. So uh, I'm giving it another go tonight, and uh, so far 16, uh, and I captured I think 18 or 19 exposures um, the other night. 
I didn't actually film that. I was just uh, <laughs> too tired to do anything, so I just carried the scope out and uh, captured some data. But yeah, I think it's going to actually combine together and make uh, a nice image. At least I'm hoping so. wanted to show you one of these exposures from slightly later in the night now um, basically the ones earlier in the night you could just see the galactic core and kind of none of the extension but on these later ones you're able to see kind of a little bit of extension around I don't know if that's visible for you guys at home um, if not you just have to take my word that it is there uh, I promise I'm not seeing things <laughs> But yeah, it's, uh, it's very encouraging because if you can see that on one exposure, then it's only going to get better the more of them that you stack. So it's about two in the morning now, and I thought I'd bring you a little update. Um, Fortunately, there's basically no news to report on the big rig. Um, everything's just going great. Absolutely no complaints. There hasn't been a single cloud in the sky as far as I could tell. Um, I don't think I've dropped a single exposure. Uh, the voltage came in brilliant. No guiding errors. Uh, no nothing really, just the expected satellite trails and such. But you can always get rid of all of those during stacking. Um, I have just got out the little ASI Air uh, and AZ GTI rig to take some photos of NGC 7000 in Cygnus. Um, I've been quietly capturing a few photons on that over the past few uh, weeks or so, uh, whenever I can, and that's going along really well. I'm hoping to make a decent image from that and uh, really learn the ins and outs of that little rig before I bring you uh, some videos on it, perhaps a little later in the year. Well, it's almost half past three in the morning and uh, I hope it's not showing too badly, but I'll be honest with you, the, uh, the tiredness is really starting to catch up now. Um, I've decided I'm going to shoot on into dawn by about 20 minutes because uh, if I do that, I'll have captured basically 10 solid hours of exposure on this target. Um, there's only a few times in the past that I've done so and uh, it has always been worth doing. I've never once regretted it. Uh, and I'm sure that this is basically going to be the same, at least I hope so. Um, as always, I've hugely enjoyed taking you along with me on, uh, on the night and being able to share it with you all. I hope you've enjoyed it too. And uh, I think this is probably going to be my last update now. I'll, I'll go inside and collapse in a heap for a while until it's time to finish the night. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you very much, very much for watching. And uh, clear skies.